everyone. Welcome to Who's in the House. This is a podcast here that is uh, designed to basically speak to everyone about everything that has to deal with coastal Delaware. Um, we're not isolating just to the real estate industry. We're going to have everyone on from restaurant owners, uh, managers for the gym, uh, grocery store managers, pretty much everything that has to do with uh, coastal Delaware. Uh, we're going to have guests on you know, throughout to kind of talk about all of that. Today happens to be uh, a topic that does have to do with the real estate. We're going off of a new listing that we have or a listing that just came back on the market. But we, uh, again, my, my name is uh, Corey Mayo. I'm the host here. Uh, we also have Chris McRae. He's a doing? team member here on the Corey Mayo team. And we're just going to kind of review quickly over uh, this listing that came back on the market over the weekend on Friday. It's a great listing in Peninsula Lakes in Millsboro. Go over some of the details and just kind of chit chat. Um, but first, uh, Chris, welcome back. You were in Ireland there yeah, for, for pretty much what seemed like the month month of January. Yeah, just about the whole month. Yeah, yeah. yeah it was, uh, you know, Chris is, even though he has a shirt that says Germany, you know, he is, uh, you know, Irish, you know, through and through. Um, most of the people that are watching this probably know that I'm very big into Ireland. My daughter's a competitive Irish dancer, so we share that, that commonality. Yeah. Um, and you know, he's been spent some time there and he's back ready to get back to the grind and he's going to be helping us with open houses and stuff that's going on, um, with this listing over at Peninsula Lake. So welcome back. Chris also has a little bit of a new look to him. Yeah. We'll, 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 pop a picture up here. Of, very, of, very fresh. Look. <laughs> <laughs> of, what, of what Chris looked like pre Ireland. And this is post Ireland, Chris. Um, I've been bugging them for a while to <laughs> shave, and, and we're we're like maybe seventy five percent of the way there now. I know I finally gave in almost all the way. So. But it's a, it's it's a good good clean look. So, so, <laughs> so like I said, we'll pop this picture up to remind us of what Chris looked like before and after Ireland. So. And let us know in the comments which one is better. <laughs> <laughs> you better say after. You better say after. <laughs> um, so, so here's a lesson that we have here in Peninsula Lakes. This is a Shell Brothers Kingfisher. Uh, this house actually went on the market back, I believe it was the end of October. Uh, we had it up for maybe a month or so. Once you hit Thanksgiving, you know, as we know, yeah. things kind of slow down afterwards. So we pulled it down off of Thanksgiving. We figured we'd give it a shot for a couple of weeks there. And uh, our, our main goal was really to kind of hit the ground here, Q1 of 2024, and, and um, get this out to the public for people to see. But this is a Kingfisher. It literally, I think today or tomorrow, is just turning one year old. Yeah. Um, just put in the whole one-year punch list to have any kind of minor, you know, um, nail pops or anything, everything resolved. I was just there the other day. The house is really dialed in. We actually did back in October a full pre-listing inspection. So the whole house was was gone over by a mayor spec. So they drilled down. They found, I think, two things. Like the, I was going to say the, like, the one little thing in the window, I believe. Yeah, yeah, this window, which actually I'm going to be – be taken care of for her. They're coming to fix that. This window right here is going to be um, replaced, and then um, I think there was some some grout that was in the in the owner shower. But other than that, the house is like really really solid. Um, so super happy to have this home on the market and for sale, ready immediately. So for all those like those people that are looking to build a, a Kingfisher with Shell Brothers, especially if Peninsula Lakes is one that you're looking at, this is like. A legit option yeah you know for sure brand basically brand new house one year old just celebrating its one year anniversary um elevation i believe it's d and uh we do the nickname for this house is the versace house <laughs> and uh, as you see you'll go through it is um decorated extremely well it is a particular taste um, and obviously, once she moves out, all of that will be back and it'll be a clean yeah. slate. Fortunately, the Versace does not come with the house. It does not. It not. does not come with the house because that would be a whole lot of money. Um, options that she did on this house. I mean, she really, she really went, you know, to the nines. When you come in the front door, the first door on the left hand side, you have an option to do that room. It's a flex room. You can yeah. do it as a bedroom. You can keep it open. She opted to do the office or the study. It gives those, these transom, um, I'm sorry, the transom window with the French glass doors. So this is, you know, she uses this every day as her, you know, at home office. Um, directly across the hall from that, I don't believe it shows in the pictures, but is a, is a powder room. So yes. yep. 
So she has that. As we get upstairs, there are some really unique options that she selected that I've never actually never seen. I was going to say, she has before. that bump out in the bedroom up there as well. Yeah, and she added a ba- the the ensuite bathroom on bedroom number three, yep. which I've never seen that, yeah, like, never. ever, which is really very, cool. Very. So, um, you know, we'll check those out as we get up there. But, you know, the pictures aren't showing the... Uh, that powder room when you first come in. This is this angle here. Obviously, is from the great room looking towards the the kitchen. Um, she has again a unique taste in, in her her design. It's very um, city. You know, a lot of her stuff came from like New York and Philadelphia. So you can see it's that Versace, that black and gold house. I was actually there. Uh, I believe it was Wednesday with with Alana. She's my six year old daughter, and as we left, she said, "Oh, Dad, I love that house. That's the gold house." So it's <laughs> it's very um, it's very it's stunning, but it's not that beachy vibe. That's just not her thing. But you know, anyone that goes in there again, all this would be gone, and do whatever blinds furnitures that you want. But it's a very clean slate, very neutral, um, neutral uh, oak flooring here, black cabinets with white. Uh, hood and stainless steel appliances, beautiful white quartz countertops. I mean, the kitchen really is um, is a stunner. She did this afterwards. It was kind of cool. You know, it, it, it comes standard from Shell. You can either do the the drywall chimney that goes up yeah. when you do the inset fireplace, um, or you can do it with brick or maybe some trim work. She had kind of her vision, uh, kind of with this this like. Uh, double space and then quadruple space spacing trim work that kind of goes up the fireplace i think i think it came out really well it really complements the windows and it's done it's done amazing yeah right? you know, definitely no expenses spared when doing it. yeah when you look at like the gapping and all this trim work i mean it's it's done her trim guy is is absolutely amazing this modern style fireplace the built-ins on the other side um I do not believe that she has the two foot si- uh, rear extension on the house. She obviously did the two foot side extension, which you have to do in order to do that, yeah. that inset fireplace. Uh, you know, again, continuing on. Here's some trim. This actually, I'm going to call this this artwork or this art area. I'm sorry there. Um, this is installed. Now the artwork is not, but this is trim that is in, in, you know installed, mounted on the wall. This area was painted, and then she added artwork. Obviously, that could be painted over to be a teal. If you yeah. want to put like some beachy artwork on there, so um, options for that for sure. Uh, but as we go through, you know, we're going to notice that this house just has that continuing vibe, that continuing uh, feel as we go through in the, in the design and decor of the home. What I really want to kind of get to is some of the um, the bones of how she designed it. Dual in wall ovens. She did a wood island with the black cabinets, the main cabinets, so that way it kind of offsets somewhat. Again, that white uh, quartz countertops, and she did a porcelain uh, farm sink. Um, so the kitchen, this is, if, if you're into cooking, there's only one step higher. You can go to the Chef Series, and that's like it. Yeah. I mean, and this thing is, is, and is... I mean, like, the layout of the kitchen as well, and the size of the uh, the farmhouse sink as well as the size of the island is just perfectly complements everything. There's plenty of room to walk around. If you have four or five people in the kitchen, uh, small kids... They can easily get around you while you're cooking, no problem. So, oh, dude, it is. It's if, if you're into entertaining. Yeah. I mean, this thing. I yeah. mean, you can be 360 degrees all the way around the island, have seating on one side, be cooking on the other, people hanging out, having a glass of wine on the other. I mean, it's just, it's just, you know, ton. And to your point, if you have kids, that's a great breakfast bar. You know, that's oh, where in the morning, sure. you know, having breakfast there. You know, the, here we go. We're showing with with four. Um, bar stools, you know, so you got plenty of seating there. This is the Eden area directly off of the uh, off the kitchen, a view of the rear of the home, and then these doors here, which she actually added um, some opaque covering to add a little bit of uh, privacy there, leads out onto the hardscaped courtyard that she has, which we'll see in a little bit. Some alternate angles into the owner suite. Nice big tray ceiling. She did add a ton of lighting. They are very specific to her style. So some people may love them. Some people want to, want to change them. Again, they're all able to be removed if they want yeah. to, if they want to be removed or changed out or whatever. So that is definitely you know an option there. But um, the main thing, this is a pretty pretty standard basic kingfisher bedroom. This arch is standard. The tray ceiling standard. She did add some trim on the on the inside of the tray. And then has some crown molding on the outer edge there as well. Just some more angles. The bathroom's pretty cool. 
Um, I like the bathroom. She did a couple I mean, cool, the, cool. The clawfoot tub as well as the tiles. Just uh, it's the, amazing. The, this floor, this floor, like just steps it up like ten notches when you walk in. It's like a, a little like art piece on the floor. It's 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 really pretty. Um, she added, had her trim guy come in and trim out the mirror, so that way it just wasn't a mirror just slapped on the wall. Um, it looks now on purpose. It's, yeah. it's 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 done done well. You know, there you go. There's your towel, <laughs> guys. Can, uh, that's a Versace towel, by the way. So she's got you know. That's why we nicknamed it the Versace towel. Um, to Chris's point here, let's see. Here's our clawfoot tub here. So it's kind of that new meets old. Yeah. So it's not an old clawfoot tub. This is a current. Yeah, no. Like you can buy this like right now, um, but it adds that kind of like you know older feel to it. You it know, it more definitely s- has that older feel. And with the uh, brush black um, fixtures, yeah, it, like brings a more modern touch to it. Yeah, and it and it ties it all together. So like you know we have black faucets and black faucets on the sinks and on the bathtub and then she added obviously some black accents around but then pulled it all together with the black fixtures on the lights and the towel bars and toilet paper holders and all the hardware all the doorknobs and hinges are all black so that ties in with the floor which ties in so the whole house i think she even did the black framed shower Let's see here. I'm pretty sure she. I believe yeah, so. Yeah. yeah. So she got the black frame shower too, which kind of pulls it all together. So really, really done well. And again, um, two items that were you know that were brought to attention. One is um, the grout or caulk along the bottom edge of the shower here is being addressed. And then when we go back, this is that window here that has a crack in it, which is being replaced. So this house is going to be really dialed in. Once those things are done, I mean, again, Amerispec, which is a big name in when it comes to home inspection, went through this thing with a fine tooth comb. So buyers feel confident you're getting a really, yes. really good quality Ameri-spec home. Amerispec is, they are amazing. They do very thorough inspections. I've never had an issue with them. Yeah, they're great. Um, as we go through here, now we're up into the loft. So coming up off of the, from the front door, up the staircase into the, into the loft area. Off of the loft, you have standard two bedrooms, one bathroom, and then unfinished storage space. Um, she opted to do a few upgrades here. Let's see here. So here's some views of the loft. So number, okay, so we go into the bonus room. She did the bonus room as opposed to the unfinished storage space. This is the big bonus room with the bar. She's open to leaving this bar, just so you know, and the pool table. So if the if buyers come in, they put an offer in, they love those items, you know, we, she's more than willing to say, hey, you know, you can keep them. So um, the 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 seller is is moving out of the country. So that's why she doesn't need all the all of this bigger stuff. So um, kind of hard to fit that in a suitcase. <laughs> yeah. So here's an angle of the bar area. So this is when we come into bedroom. So we have guest bedroom two and guest bedroom three up here. Uh, the way that she can figure this bedroom standard would just be a regular bedroom with a walk-in closet. That's it. Um, she reconfigured. This is an option I have not seen. I think this is the first time I may have ever seen it. Typically, there would be a closet right here. This has an ensuite bathroom. So what it does is it takes the bathroom that's off of the loft, which would have like a double sink. It kind of shifts the bathroom and kind of pulls in some of the walls. So it has a single sink now. And pushes the tub in, but then also makes room for this now ensuite. So this bedroom has its own bathroom, so a guest doesn't have to exit the room at all in order to use the bathroom get cleaned up. But then here is our standard bathroom, which she jack and jilled off of this bedroom. So this is bedroom number two. You can get to you can get to the bathroom either directly from the loft. Or if you go into this bedroom, then there's another door that can take you into yeah. this bathroom. So this this one, in theory, has its own bathroom also. As long as you lock the door to the loft, yeah. you just have direct access to, to that bathroom as well. So um, all of the bedrooms now have access, direct access from the bedrooms to get into bathrooms, which is super unique um, and even more unique for a kingfisher. So. And it's super underrated for guests as well. I mean, 
the ability to just wake up and get a shower, not have to walk through the hallways, and it's just it's definitely a convenience. Yeah, I mean, you get up and you know, or even if you have, have little ones, and you have a kid who's staying in there, and they want to you know use the bathroom, you gotta like put your robe on so you yeah. can go out into the loft and then go into the bathroom or whatever it may be. You just go directly into your bathroom. It's it just makes life so much easier. Yeah. So, um, but it all comes at a cost, which she didn't spare. She yeah. was like, "Hey, this is the idea was this is going to be her forever house." And, you know, she had always wanted to go move to Portugal, but um, I guess, you know, I mean, it's a huge move. Yeah. You know, it's, it's one thing to move even, you know, from Delaware to Maryland or yeah. Delaware to California, <laughs> but now we're going to move like to a whole yes. another country. Cross country relocation is definitely a big step. Yeah. Yeah. Now she's going international, which is, which is even more so. So, um, but she just said, Hey, you know, you only live once, so yeah. let's do it. Not exactly. Um, you know, so that's that's kind of the route that she's going. But, you know, that wasn't the the initial idea when she built the house. The idea was, like, this is my forever house, and she's got a lot of family, and she wanted this house to be able to fit everyone and everyone have privacy and be able to feel comfortable coming down here, not feel like they're all on top of one another. So that's kind of the direction that she went with it. Um, obviously, she's not going to be taking the washer and dryer with her to Portugal, so it does include the washer and dryer. This is the laundry room, again, with that hardwood, for, hardwood floors flowing in to here as well. And this is off of the um, rear of the home. I, this, these are the doors I was saying off of the eating kitchen, and this is our nice – this is every option as far as space for the hardscaping that she included when she built her outdoor living space. Uh, it does have built-in planters, and it also has the built-in grill, which she <laughs> she's she's a super neat freak. Like the house is, is spotless. I mean, I mean, you were there. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's like I mean, there's not like a speck of dust anywhere, pretty much. And she asked me if she should have professionals come out and clean her grill because she used it, you know, like a like a week before for a family party that she had. And so I was like, ah, you know, I'm sure it's probably like all greasy and it's like spotless. I have no, I'm like, I, I'm like, I have no idea what you're talking about. This thing is like perfectly clean, but she's just, that's how like much of a, of a neat freak she is. She just absolutely loves her home to be spotless. So, um, yeah, it was but meticulously upkept. It oh, like, so like, cra like crazy, like crazy. Like she's just, you know, she really cares, you know, but I guess if you're investing that much money into it, like you should take care of your stuff. So yeah, she really, 100%. she really takes that to heart. Um, she did go with the multi-tiered hardscape, so you do have the option of doing one level. Um, it's a little bit more to go with the, the multi-tier, but it has a little bit more um, adds distinction to what each area is. So this, so for her, this is the dining area, right where the grill is. This is obviously your lounging area. So it's nice to have that, you know, have that multi-level. Some views. So that is pretty much the end of our tour on the house to go over some of the details in particular it is that we're four bedrooms three and a half bathrooms and we're at just shy of 3,000 square feet uh, again just either at or about to hit our one-year anniversary on this house so uh, Shell Brothers actually has a, a, a release that just opened up this weekend of all new home sites, which are coming from this cul-de-sac down across to uh, lot 50, 555, 531, and around to this cul-de-sac. So if someone is saying, hey, look, I I love this. This is something I really would love to, to get involved in, but I've got time constraints. I really need to kind of be in and be in now. You know, you can just very easily shift over here, and this is her home site right here, and you can be in I don't know, in a month, yeah, you know, and, and be moving in. The other thing that's really cool about it, and we'll look at it here on Google Maps in a second, you'll notice that there's a green space here. When you go to the house, right now it's it's being sodded, in it, but it looks like this is a potential home site to where someone could build a house. It's not. That's common space. So you have all this empty space to the right of you that is actually – it's, it's common space. Yeah. So like it, the community, is, it is a big lot. Like, yeah. You would think that somebody is building a house there, but it, there will be no house. There. Yeah. Like, hey, there's going to be a Wimbrel here or whatever. That's just space. And that was, you know, she always talked about, hey, this is one of the reasons why I picked this home site, because I don't have to worry about um, worry about that. Actually, I apologize. It's right here. I lied. It's right. Um, so it's right here. It's even bigger. 207 is her lot. Um, 
So you can see how big this is. It's almost as big as what 207 is from, from a width you know, perspective. So it is, um, it's a, a great area, great home site, um, and it's available now. So if you're looking at these, these, uh, this new release and, you know, this now is something that's high level and this is a, a, a home that you would be thinking about maybe building, but if time constraints, this is one, you know, you're st- you have a lot of warranty that's still there. Um, the house is, is going through it's, one year, I'm going to use the word growing pains, but more like settling nail pops yeah. that happen from drywall. All that's going to be addressed. It's been inspected. The home is like super pristine. So now's, now's the time. Yeah, you know? and I mean, not only that, there's also an assumable mortgage on it, correct? Uh, there is an assumable mortgage mortgage on it, but um, I don't think, because of the timing with her moving overseas, I don't think that it's going to work. Sometimes yeah. these assumable mortgages can take like up to like, 90 to 180 uh, days yeah. so like back when we were looking at like a like a in the october time period it worked but now we're not because and that makes sense yeah, yeah now we're in january and she's going to be moving to portugal yeah um i mean whoever gets in this house they, they'll if you get in it as soon as possible you will be all ready to move in by springtime yeah and well have I, a nice summer down at the beach yeah and the other great thing is you know this time compared to even back in fall, our rates have already come down substantially. Oh, yeah. So now's the time, you know, buyers can really come in. And that as, and but as those, because we're on like the verge, as the rates are dropping, what tends to happen is prices go up. Yeah. So now you, you have the ability that you can kind of catch it in that kind of like middle area of, you know, as rates are dropping, the prices haven't quite increased yet of, you know, taking advantage of that. So um, the community itself, you know, for those that aren't aware of, um, of Peninsula Lakes, I mean, it's just packed. I yeah. mean, it's packed with amenities. I mean, you've got, you know, wave pools and uh, I call it s'more stations. It's all in a pond, a stock. Yeah, going to say stock the pond Stock well. fishing pond. You know, there's 11 ponds all throughout the entire community. I'm trying to see if they have some like, amenity pictures. I guess they don't. Um, you know, the clubhouse is amazing with the gym and they've got billiards and they have a lazy shuffleball. river there as well. Yeah, in the yeah, pool. It's just like, absolutely insane. Like it's, it's like resort living, but as your home. It's amazing. Cabanas and like all kinds of stuff. So it really is um, you know, and, and you're Millsboro, which is great because you're roughly fifteen ish minutes off of Route One. So you're yeah. away from all that hustle and bustle of dealing with the traffic, but you're still fifteen minutes away from Route One and depending on the time of day and what time of year. 20 to 25 minutes of having toes in the sand, depending yeah. on which beach you're going to. So it's nice. And if you're into boating, you're eight minutes around the corner from slips to where you can have have your boat you know, docked up because you don't obviously launch your boat into the ocean. You launch into the bay, and the yeah. bay is around the corner. Um, and we've got tons of dining that's around there that's on the bay for sunset dining. So yeah. really and cool. our sunsets are some of the best in the country, may I add. Oh, they're, stu- they're stunning. Amazing. They're stunning. Uh, uh, definitely the best on the East Coast. And yeah. anybody else on the East Coast can argue that, but we have the best. Yeah, yeah. De- de- Delaware, and, and we've got great taxes on top of it. Yeah. So, so, <laughs> so save money on taxes and, and get yourself a beautiful Carry sunset. Carry your tax-free shopping bags off into the sunset. With you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, so yeah, so, so we, it's, we've got like the trifecta. I mean, we got Delaware for like low cost of living, low taxes. We got, um, Peninsula Lakes for like just packed full of amenities. And then we've got an awesome house that's just a year old now. Um, that's, you know, priced properly, um, with tons of options. So, you know, in, in a, on a, on a really, really nice lot as well. So, um, I think that pretty much concludes our kind of chat here on this listing. I mean, we do have some other listings that are going to be coming up. Um, uh, we have potentially two that are going to be coming up in uh, Coastal Club, which is a, a community in uh, Lewis, you know, kind of call it the Disney World of Lewis. I mean, it's Peninsula Lakes and even more so. Um, it is about maybe five miles from the beach, yeah. you know, right off it's of Beaver Dam Road. So, you know, keep your eyes peeled for potentially those listings that are going to be coming up. Um, but th- this market's really starting to warm up on the buyer side because of those rates coming down. Um, builders, you know, w- we still have a low inventory for resale. So building is a great option for a lot of people because yeah. you can pick what you want, where you want it and how you want it done. So, you know, if you're comparing pricing, pricing is very similar. Yeah. You know, the rates are, are, are great. So like now's the time to kind of take advantage of that. Some of the builders I know are talking about potential increases, um, coming up in the, in the soon in the near future. So, you know, now is definitely the time to take advantage 
of that and incentives that they have that's going on. Yeah. So, and I mean, right now, Shaw Brothers, who is the builder for Peninsula Lakes, uh, they have some amazing communities coming out at very good price points. Yeah, like, uh, Cardinal Grove, Haley's Glen, um, what was it, Lightship as Light, well? Lightship like Cove. amazing prices for the houses that you can get. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So if like if a resale isn't for you and you're thinking about building, you know, yeah. And the turnaround time, I mean, is just about a year. Yeah, well, I mean, even less than that now. Yeah. I mean, once you get a shovel in the ground, you're looking at roughly four to five months, depending on which floor plan you're going on and how, how long your queue is. So, um, But again, if that's even too long, just give us a call about this. You, yeah. you, you can jump right in now. You know, like I said, roughly, you know, 30 days or so, you know, yeah. depending on. Um, a lot of people may not even feel like they need to do a home inspection contingency on or have one done because Amerispec is so well known and they really did go through it with the fine tooth comb. They have, um, we have a summary report of it, but then we have the full 55 page or 50 some page detailed home inspection report yeah. that anyone has can have, have access have access to at any point in time yeah. and like we also said i mean to meticulously took care of this home it's basically as if you had a new car off the lot and somebody babysat it started it up every few weeks so the engine didn't go bad and then you were able to get lucky enough to get that car off of them yeah it's yeah an it's amazing house yeah she really she she loved the house and like i said this was like this was supposed to be her forever you know yeah it was the, the whole portugal thing was a wish or like a dream of hers and she just figured hey you know let me just go for yeah. it i mean when your cards line up you gotta take yeah. them so i can't blame her yep yep yolo yep <laughs> so uh so yeah so if you have any questions about this at all you can email us at info at who's in the house des in delaware.com you can also feel free to reach out at 302-466-5511 um, make sure you hit that subscribe button, that like, that uh, the like button, the notification bell. Uh, you know that way you're notified as we're uploading new podcasts. Um, but again, thank you so much for tuning in. Any questions about this, please feel free to reach out. Um, thank you from your host Corey Mayo. Yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. Be sure to do, oh geez, be sure that you're subscribed to both my YouTube as well as Corey's YouTube, and stay tuned for the podcast. Make sure you have notifications on and stay up to date with Coastal Delaware. Yep, cool. All right, guys. Thanks so much All for right. tuning in. We'll chat with you soon.